Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're unboxing the Apple Watch. Now this is the one with the 42 millimeter case and it also has the classic buckle. And on the side here, it just says some of the things that it has like the sapphire crystal retina display and the ceramic back. But uh, yeah, I mean, let's go ahead and open this up. And uh, this is, might pop the audio, so sorry for headphone users. And uh, let's go here and you just remove the film right there. The uh, thing about this one is that this one bumps up the price because of the classic buckle. And this one now retails for close to $800. It's about 750, a little bit over that, which is very expensive. But let's go ahead and put, or pull this up and uh, very slowly. So, and uh, there we go, here we go, there we go. After a few years, we got it open. And we pull this box out as we saw in the last unboxing. And in here, we're just gonna get the documentation and uh, we're not gonna get an extra band because it's only one band for this. You can't just you know, make the size bigger. You get one band. I believe you can choose your size. You know, It's either the band on the 42 millimeter or the 38 millimeter. But uh, you're also gonna get, of course, the charger here, which I mentioned that the Sport Edition charger isn't as well made as this one right here. This one has a very cool metallic premium feel, while the one from the Sport has a plastic. And let me here just show it to you real quick since you're watching my video, I just wanna show it to you. You can kind of see the difference there. And uh, you know, it makes a little bit of a difference because this just, it just feels a little bit more premium. Then you're also gonna get the charging block and that's all. But what's the important thing here is this other second box because you're gonna get the Apple Watch in here. And we're gonna pull this tab right here, remove the film and we're gonna get Let's put that over there. And we're gonna get the Apple Watch itself. Now this one's gonna be really nice because I like the contrast between the black and the silver Apple Watch or the you know stainless steel Apple Watch. But uh, yeah, we get this nice box, which I showed in the last video. It has really nice felt in here and just feels like a, like a real watch box and it's really cool. So you could put it in there if you want and then leave it inside your nightstand if you don't want it to get dusty or anything like that. And uh, yeah, it's nice. You definitely get a better unboxing experience with this watch right here. But uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at it here so you can see this. We have the film right here protecting it. We're going to go ahead and remove that, but get it close up here so you can see that better. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this, the best part of the unboxing. And there you go. You get that display right there. And then you just push the whole piece out as I learned in the last video. And let's just go ahead and put that there, put this in here, close this here, put that over to a side over there. And here's the watch itself. You can see how it has the black right here to match the band, which is really nice. And we get the classic buckle and uh, it just looks good. But of course, what you wanna see here is me to remove this piece of plastic and try it on, right? So we can see how it looks. Um, my favorite band that I tried on at the Apple store was the one with the leather loop, but uh, that was one of the ones that got canceled. Oh, here we go. And uh, I don't know what's happening here. I don't, oh, here we go. We got a little, okay, there we go. But yeah, my favorite was the leather loop, and uh, but this one's the one that ended up getting here. So let's go ahead and put this on and see. This one's also definitely comfortable. It's a very nice soft leather. It's not a hard, cheap leather for example it's it's i feel it's a little bit nicer than the leather one on the moto 360 if you've tried that one then this is definitely a little bit nicer softer feels a little bit more premium than the one on the 360. but that's how it looks right there and if i turn to an angle you can kind of see how it looks it looks pretty snazzy it looks pretty good right looks like i could go out tonight with this watch on let's go ahead and boot it up real quick so you can see that, and uh, it looks great. I honestly really like it. Let's see here. Let's take this off again. I'm gonna show you how to remove the band real quick. Let's... All right, and then back here, we have a little button that you can press to remove the band. You basically just press that button and the band is going to slide right out. What's cool is you can interchange them with friends or anyone that you know, if they have the same size of case. If you have a 38 millimeter, you can't change them and you can't use them vice versa. And uh, I can prove that to you right here because I have a little, whoops, I have a little one from the 
38 millimeter just for for seeing what happens here let me see I'm putting it on the wrong way there we go oh wow it actually you can actually use the 38 millimeter case it's not going to be perfect as you can see there there's a little gap and you probably can't see that well but that's cool that you can actually use the ones from the other case because that way even if someone has a different thing you can get you can actually switch it out which is cool but uh yeah that's the watch guys um we learned something new that we didn't know before i definitely did not know that but uh you know let me know what you guys think of this watch this is definitely one of the more expensive ones i do have the space black one with the the stainless steel band or whatever which is the most expensive one before the edition which is ten thousand dollars and i'll be checking that one out once it gets here but uh yeah this is the apple watch with the classic buckle and uh hybrid which looks very interesting here but yeah guys thanks for watching this video if you like the video feel free to leave a thumbs up it always helps and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and aside from that i'll catch you guys in the next video goodbye hey how's it going i wanted to add a quick little ending here because i wanted to mention the fact that if you're not subscribed to this channel you should totally subscribe because i have a bunch of more apple watch coverage coming soon and uh i cover all things apple and a bunch of other tech things so if you're interested in that feel free to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and uh if you enjoyed this video you know you can always leave a like because it helps and if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can aside from that i'll catch you in the next video